Hello everyone, it's Red and I'm back again with a Gems of War video. Um, this past Friday was New Mythic Friday. It's the, in my opinion, it's the best day of the Gems of War month. Um, unfortunately, of late on New Mythic Friday, we haven't really had very good mythics of late. Um, at least the last three or four were pretty trash. I think uh, Flaming Oni might have been the last good one that we've had, and since then it's been pretty demoralizing turning up on New Mythic Friday and using your keys and your seals to get whatever the new mythic is and then realizing that unfortunately you're never going to use that mythic but this week we have been treated to not only a usable mythic but in my opinion one of the best mythics in the game I truly think that. I think this mythic is S tier. I think that it's a top 10 mythic. I think it's going to have a lot of uses. Um, I'll take a quick look at him. It's the world king. It's the world queen's other half, her husband, her king. And his spell is Insight Fury. Enrage all allies and give them 45 attack, then create a mix of 22 skulls and yellow gems. He's a wild folk, just as the, the wild queen is. He is from Pan's Vale, again, as the wild queen is. Of course, this all makes sense. And he costs 22 mana, green, blue, and yellow. And I have to say, He's really not too hard to get the mana up on him. He feels... Um, he doesn't feel like... He feels up like a mythic. He feels like he feels up like a... Like a legendary almost. Um, his traits... If I'm honest, his traits aren't all that great. He's got... Wild, wild Folk Bond. Which is allied wild folk gain two life. You really don't notice that. It's not going to be a difference whether you live or you die. He's got Song of Bones, Summon a Bone Storm at the start of battle. This is a good trait. It's not a great trait. The reason being, when you summon a Bone Storm at the start of battle and your troops aren't ready to use their spells, um, then you're basically either forced to take those skulls yourself to deny the opposition team um, three pokes on you or um, you have to take the pokes and hope you can get your spells up before they've managed to poke you down so um, of course once you do have your spells up, you want as many skulls on the board as you can possibly have. So it's a double edged sword. Um, it gives with one hand and it takes away with the other, but that's fine. Um, and lastly, wild cunning. All wild folk allies gain one magic when my turn begins. Now, this one feels like it could be useful if you use the full wild folk team, maybe. Um, I really don't think it's all that useful when you're only using the World King. Um, I'm really not sure that it's all that useful if you're using a full Wild Folk team, if I'm honest, but extra magic is always a good thing. Um, I don't really think that you're going to be fighting extended fights when you're using the Wild King, but. Um, Yeah, I'll take extra magic. Now, I have created a team. This team I created about an hour and a half ago. Um, I've created about eight teams for the Wild King so far. And this is by far the best team I've made so far. It's not 
the team that I've made is not um, it's not all that outside the box I wouldn't be at all surprised if somebody's already made this team and showed this team um, but it is the best team that I've come up with so far it's the best team I've used with the World King in um, but I will add that the World King can carry literally any team in in level 12 explore particularly um, you could put the worst troops in this team and the worst weapon and you would still probably win 95% of your level 12 games I actually used him in bounty this weekend um, because I'm at a stage in the game where I'm not all that particularly in need of um, orbs so when things like bounty happen I play them but I don't play them with um, the intention of having to finish the event I used the world king, I used the bounty captain, I used two other bounty troops that didn't match his colours so that I could get him up quickly and he sliced through the bounty level 12, well, level 20 team like it was butter so he's just incredibly overpowered so he, it is what it is um, but this team does get the best out of him in my opinion it creates the ability to loop incredibly quickly and to cipher through teams at level 12 quickly so what we have here we have Osha's Tome this in my opinion is the best mana generating weapon in the game if you meet just a little bit of its criteria that is it is explode four gems for each blue ally and each elemental ally um, now we have four blue allies and we're, ele we're using the elemental hero so we're also an elemental you do not need that many I think if especially if you're using elemental just one other blue ally and you will sp explode most of the board as it is we're exploding just the entire board with with this setup it is as strong as it gets its traits are plus two life plus one magic plus two attack plus one magic plus one magic gain four life submerge myself deal five scatter damage and create an ice storm these are all the, the first few aren't really anything to worry about but these last three are very useful um, however again these aren't really why we're using it we're using it because it explodes the entire board and it's very quick to get up um, in the second slot we have the wild king in the third slot we have scroll reborn it's a it's a, one of the boss troops you have to create this in the soul forge it's extremely overpowered it's not used as much as I think it should be used it does I'll read the spell solar imbalance create five yellow gems then convert all yellow gems to doom skulls summon one to three wargs now it's basically the lord of slaughter but instead of the lord of slaughter being brown this thing it does it with yellow instead but as well as what the Lord of Slaughter does, it summons three wargs if needed. Now this is fantastic. Um, it comes into play more than you would expect. Now, especially, the thing is, when you're using these skull teams, sometimes they go against you. Sometimes there's nothing you can do. The enemy are going to get one or two pokes off on you, and you're going to lose a uh, minion. But with when you've got this thing in your party it doesn't matter, it doesn't even matter if you lose two minions because Skull Reborn will um, summon some fodder for you and you'll get the um, match done with before you know it um, it's traits it has beast bond, allied beast gain two life again this is something and nothing, this isn't the greatest um, 
trait you see it on a lot of troops and it really doesn't make any difference impervious impervious is one of the best traits in the game immune to all status effects devour lycanthropy and mana burn and finally solar inspiration give four attack to all beast allies when my turn begins the last one it's okay it's probably not going to make a difference but you know it's nice to have especially if you're using losing sorry especially if you're using all beast allies um, and then last we have orrery the spell doesn't matter the traits don't really matter except astronomy conjurer star storm at the start of my turn now a star storm is a storm that creates purple and yellow and that benefits us because we have three yellow troops and we have one purple troop um, it works really well um, so we'll get into this fight where should we go Let's just find somewhere with a we go blinded lance that'll do so um, I'm recording this on Sunday evening it's 10 to 11 at night um, it was the Queen's 70th anniversary jubilee today, uh, this weekend um, I don't really have a strong opinion on it but the country went quite mad um, up during it and uh, it was nice to see lots of excited people um, I hope that everybody else this weekend went well. I hope that you had plenty of time to chill. I hope you had a cosy weekend if that was what you wanted. Um, and I hope you made the most of your weekend. If it's if you're watching this during the week, I hope that your week is going well, and I hope that things aren't getting you down. And if they are, I hope that we can help you with that. Um, so the idea with this team is to get up our weapon first, explode the board, use the Wild King, and then use Scroll Reborn, and they loop with each other. You'll see how it goes. It's it's quick, it's fast, it's quick and it's fast, it's uh, efficient, um, and I'll show you how it works. So, that was... Wow. So, Without my seeing, we have uh, a boss killer on the other team, on the other side. So I'm not going to be able to show it properly this time. That's okay. We'll um, we'll show it off next time. Let's just what we'll do now is we'll show how well the um, World King can carry a team. It's not. This has gone about as badly as it can possibly go but it's fine it's fine we don't mind these things on this channel we know that things don't always go to plan and we get on with it so one thing to note with this troop is he enrages the entire team enrage ignores all status effects so you don't have to worry if the opponent has bless or any of that other good stuff you will slice through it with the enrage and that's what makes this um, troop so dangerous so so dangerous now you can see this fight, this battle went about as badly as it could possibly have gone and the Wild King has still managed to carry us through and we got away with it that's the first time, you know I think I did 30 battles with this team to test it out earlier and I didn't lose a troop once now um, we go into <laughs> we go into our first battle on the video, and 
the very first turn of the oppos of the opposition, and we um, and we lose our scroll reborn. So this doesn't this isn't particularly good for us because um, these c I mean, we're always going to be losing our blue, but it's okay. We don't mind now. Unfortunately, we don't have a blue and we don't have a yellow. This is what we're basically looking for, but it's fine. We'll get our hero up here. Oh, one shot. My bad. There we go. I'll blow the board up. Now the idea is you, you want to use the World King before you use Scroll Reborn because the World King creates the yellow and then Scroll Reborn will create more yellow and turn them all into Doom Skulls. So just like this, then we use Scroll Reborn, turn them into Doom Skulls. When we blow up the board, we get our, our heroes back. A lot of the time they will fill each other up. But if they don't, it's fine because we always have our hero. Do this again, blow them up. Now we go with that, and it's over. You see how quick that can go. And even with the opposition taking away our the mana that we actually need, we're still able to eat through. Um, we're still able to eat through the. Um, the team. So, as you see, nice and quick. I'm going to go quick with this one now that I've explained how the team goes. Get your hero up, explode the entire board, use the World King, blow up the board. Now, in this situation, you could use Scroll Reborn but I don't suggest it, there's not really enough yellow on the board it's not normally an issue that you have uh, get a wild king back up we will so we've, we've got a an easy match here with our scroll reborn so we're going to take it Hard King, Hard King again, boom, game over. Now, I've used a few of these teams, honestly, the Wild King works pretty much with any sort of skull spam. He works with just, just about any team you could you'd want to put him in, to be honest. But this is the quickest version of the team that I've managed to use so far. Probably should have taken that extra turn there, but I'm trying to go quick. We'll take that. We'll explode the board. We'll use the Wild King. Then we'll use the Reborn. If they don't manage to refill, we'll use up. He'll use our hero. We'll use the Wild King. The Wild King again. We didn't get a very nice roll that time, but that's fine. We're okay with that. So this time we've we've lost our we've lost our hero this time. That's fine. We're still our king. With these here we get a nice extra turn and we win. There we go. Again. The Wild King is so overpowered, it, it really doesn't seem to matter um, how badly it goes, it really doesn't seem to matter whether you lose your hero or not. I must admit that up until doing this I haven't actually been losing my hero, but it's fine, it's still going well. We use the Wild King, create our yellow, we use Scrawry Born, 
we use the world key again take the extra turns nearly misclick there blow the board up use the world king use scroll reborn blow the board up use the world king and game I think we are um, I think this is one of the faster um, Explore 12 teams I've used um, I'm not sure that anything beats the uh, Fireblade Azul team I don't think anything will beat it for a while yet um, but I think if things don't go against you um, if things don't go against you with this team I think you can um, get close in some of the battles I, I went the opposite way around that time because I had so much yellow it seemed it, it seemed wrong to do it any other way but it's fine um, we use the Wild King here we use Scroll Reborn and we use the Wild King and we win so as you see when you get going it's incredibly quick incredibly quick so yeah thank you for watching that was the team I'll show it again and I will put the team code in the description I hope you enjoyed um, hope you enjoyed the video please if you did a uh, like would really help a lot um, just helping us get into that YouTube algorithm is fantastic if you want to see more videos whether it be gems of war fishing I'm going to do some golf videos in the future too some Stardew Valley, some Minecraft if you're interested in any of those, if you just enjoy um, ASMR then please hit the subscription maybe put the uh, bell on so you get notified of my my videos and we'll see you next time stay cozy